So I've done a bunch of research on these little tomato horn, horn worm caterpillars. Can't get it out right. I still have the three that I shot last night. But this is the one I believe that <coughs> the, wasn't moving much last night. Ants were crawling on it. Today he is much browner than the other two. I um, saw some sites on YouTube that showed a good cage set up. Showed that he's got to have soil to dig in. This is some um, stuff I got from the pet store. Uh, it's a reptile cocoa bark. I hope it'll be good for him. It's not true soil like the lady had. But I trust it to be super clean. Um, I also have two giant leopard moth pupas. My ex-husband and my kids had found these at his house after a flood on a bunch of his plants. They brought home seven. We have five now. One just disappeared completely. Maybe I threw it out with some old leaves. I'm not sure. But they've been in a pupa about a week now. Um, I put them in a cage like that. Here's that brown horn horn tail or whatever he is. Then over here, using that lady's idea, I put instead of yogurt cups, I used some sour cream cups. But these are the caterpillars of the giant leopard moth. There's three in there. One's on the ground. He fell down, but they're still curled up in a ball. They're not happy that I moved them from their other house. And finally, here's the other two hornworms from last night. And you can see that they are much greener than their brother. I went all over town today because I found out they like tomato plants trying to find some tomato plants, but apparently there are none anymore. These were found on some weird plant that has these really pretty little purple flowers. I'm going to post a picture of it with this video. So I know when my favorite nursery opens up again tomorrow, I know they have some of that plant, so I'll go get that. I put the brown one in here with these and just for color difference, here we go. I put him in there with them, but he crawled right off the plant and started crawling around the cage again, so I guess that means he's wandering. Which, like I said, a red meant that they were ready to pupate for the final time and bury. Well, shed for the final time, pupate, then bury. I'm sorry, I got that backwards. Um, I hope that's what it means and not that he's been parasitized or not, but when I went to get some of these plants from my neighbor, I told her, I promised her this would be the last time I steal plants from her. She said she had found one that had wandered away from the plant and was on the ground by a trash can, and but it was dead and hardly recognizable anymore. Ants had come all over it. So, yep, that's my basic setup right now. Um, three tobacco hornworms, two giant leopard pupas, and three giant leopard caterpillars in the back there. I just wish these two would get off the old sticks, but maybe it's too early in the day. And they're still tired. Not sure, but enjoy that. And I'll make video updates when I know more about what's going on with him. As a little um, P.S., I figured I wanted to show you a little more about these woolly bears. Well, they're not woolly bears, but they're related to them. Look a lot like them. But um, both of these caterpillars, the horn tail and this woolly bear, are really neat because um, found out you can hold both of them. But this woolly bear, 
type giant leopard moth. Let me quit calling him that, get him confused. He, um, he's all black and fuzzy, but when he rolls up in a ball, he shows these real pretty red bands. So, they usually get comfortable with me holding them after a while and open up, but again, not sure what, maybe it's the time of day. I finally got him off his stick. That was not fun. He had a death grip on that thing. I don't know. Something interesting about these caterpillars is that they're called sphinx moths. And again, I learned that from the lady on YouTube. But they've got they got these two little like pincher. I don't know how to focus on this camera. It's just my little camera movie mode. They got these two little pincher claws up front. But sometimes they'll fold them up and sit upright to where they kind of look like look like the Sphinx from Egypt. But then these back claws aren't really feet, I guess, but they're more like graspers. And then way back here on the back, they got a back set that really grab on. Now he's deciding to move. I guess he's had enough of me holding him. So yeah, I did get this one off his stick, but this one's in a bunch of sticks, so I don't know if I'll be able to get him off. I'll just have to let him come off naturally, I suppose. Okay, and I think that's all for real this time. This one finally settled down, but he's moving his head a little. If you know anything about if this is the final stage or something, let me know. I can't believe I've never heard of these before, considering how big of pests they are. People go to great lengths to keep them off their tomato plant. And again, I'm going to post the plant that they were on and show how it went from this beautiful full plant to barely nothing in one day. It said it was going to be my last, but right when I turned off my camera, he woke up, and it looks like he's trying to bury. He's digging, I can tell you that. And I just moved, bumped his cage a little, so that made him stop, but he's definitely trying to dig his head down. So we'll see. And there he is, almost completely buried. Now I need to, I know I saw it somewhere, but I think they take a little bit to pupate once they get down there. So I need to re-research that. And then once they do, I'm going to take them out, put them in a setup kind of like the giant leopard moth pupa. But with them and with these, I'm going to do also what the lady said. <coughs> put a um, cloth on the back of it so once they hatch they can climb up and stretch their wings out as opposed to she said if you leave them in the dirt they may crumple up their wings if they don't have a place to climb up and dry on another note my two woolly bear uh, giant leopard moth caterpillars. One spun a web up in the corner of his cage um, of silk and pupated up there. The other one just pupated on the ground. It was weird. I guess he didn't feel like going through the trouble. But now my little caterpillar is gone so I guess I won't see him for a while.
Here's the finished setup, minus the washcloth that the pu that's going to go in with the pupa. Excuse the mess in the background. I have a tendency to get passionate about projects and neglect other things. <laughs> in this case, my house and table. And there's where I was drilling some holes in the little sour cream cups. I guess I'll pick them up eventually, but... There it is.